If you have ever built a Next.js project, chances are you have used two types of images. Images stored in your project so locally and images that you show from somewhere else on the internet, so remotely. Recently, I found out through HackerOne that if you are not careful, hackers can use this ability to load unauthorized images on your website, which can lead to dangerous stuff. In this video, I will show you what the security concern is and how you can safely render images in your Next.js application to protect yourself. To start with, let's go through the process of adding a remote image into our project. I am using Cloudinary CDN to host and store the image I want to render. I copy the link of the image and then I go inside my project to render that image. In Next.js, as you know, this will not render at first and will give you an error. We see this error because if we want to render an image from a remote resource in Next.js, we have to allow that domain in next.config.js file. So let's copy that URL and then go into our next.config.js file and add that in our images domain area. You will see that after you restart your local server, the remote image will load now. Great. But there is a big problem with this method that hackers can take advantage of. To see the problem, right click on the remote image and open it in a new tab. If you look closely at the URL, we can identify the CDN of this image. This means someone can render any other image from this domain on our app. To prove this, let me copy another image that is not on my account and replace the URL you can see that the image will render in our app. This is a big problem and people can exploit that to run code in your application. I will show that later, but for now, let me show you the better way to allow domains in your application. So only images from your account are allowed. In our code, we want to go back to the next.config.js file and instead of having the domains array, replace that with remote patterns. Inside these, you can specify each domain in an object. Now we can actually specify the domain name further instead of just having the original domain name. You can get the specific ID of your CDN account either through your images or in your account. Remove the domains key and reload your server. Now, if you refresh the page, you should see that the image does not load anymore because it's not from our account. This is the correct way to add links in your application. Now, let me show you how someone can use SVGs to run code on your website if it is not secure. I will add a script tag inside this SVG code and when I open it, the code inside the script tag will run. If I open the DevTools console, you can see that the console log appears. Instead of adding a console log, let me add some code to direct the user onto another website. If I save and run the SVG in my browser, it will take me to a different website now. I am sure you can realize the dangers of this. This is why it's very important to only allow specific links to render images in your application. I saw a really good example of this person stealing cookies with this method, but I could not replicate it myself properly. Regardless, I think it's very important to be aware of this. I hope you learned something new and you found this video insightful. Thank you for watching.